Hey guys, welcome to this play. Chasing Sky the Third Blind. Let us go to another door. We have to go back to the base area, actually. Bum 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 bum. I wonder if it matters who I take to the trial. So I can mark this one off my list now. It's nice to see a little bit of background with him. Um. Actually, let's try the girl with the giant doll one. I'm not sure if that is Rin or not. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this one? I don't know if this counts. Like, I don't know if Peter Mater counts as a doll. Bring to me the girl who plays with the giant doll. However, inside a child awaits her. Should this fail to deter you, open the door and step inside. Okay, I guess it is her. Bum 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 ba da da. Excellent. Excellent. Do 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 do. Star Chamber. Overcome the trial before you, then I shall grant you a memory fragment and my blessing. Mmm. Okay. Let's see, what do we have? Star Guardian. Guardian of the Star Door heals those who attack it, but when its HP starts to go low. Vogel number one X. Patrol archaism made by the society. Uses a status altering ray on foes. Status altering? Okay. This this theme is almost like turn nine in Vitamin C full turn. Are they weak against anything in particular? It's weird. Suddenly things are not being weak to anything. It's quite strange. I want to see what this looks like. Oh, she's going to have a turn like 10 years. Ah, oh, poison. Lovely. Oh, I killed one of the things. Ah, oh, it's a shame it didn't hit the others. Oh, we'll do this instead. <laughs> wow! Everything died. <laughs> that was really easy. <laughs> that was so easy. Okay then. You have overcome the really easy trial. Thus I shall grant you a memory fragment and my blessing. Okay. Bum, bum. Ba -da -da. Loading. Ooh, what's this? Complete. Okay. Pay to murder. Thirteen factories. Gordius class tactical archaism development plan. Author, 13 factories. The author is 13 factories. Code name, pay to matter. Plane overview. We intend to develop a cutting edge a archaism that inherits the DNA of the rest of the Gordius series while containing a more advanced control system. It will retain the same tactical effectiveness that was the primary development goal in previous models, while allowing for more flexible and precise strategic usage as well. Effective radius. The archaism is intended to be accessible across the whole continent. Powerful main and sub-engines -engine, sub should allow it to operate for several years without resupplying. The use of... Oh, autonomous combat ability. The use of the Mars Integrated Orbital Arithmic Logic Unit will allow for advanced autonomous combat and effective identifying of targets. In addition, the Archaism's control system will make use of the operator's nervous system, allowing for reflexive, irreflexive, instinctive movements in combat. The operator will communicate with the Archaism without being in physical contact with it. This will require a compatible candidate to be found and chosen. That's interesting. Dimensions.
Height, weight. Overall height, 15.5 arch. Unit weight, 55 torm. 68 torm when fully armed. Armaments. The Archaism's primary weaponry will be in its... Did I say armaments? I like added an R there, so weird. Armaments. Armaments. There we go. The Archaism's primary, pr primary weaponry will be its orbital energy cannons, but it will have other kinds of orbital weaponry and even several gunpowder powered weapons as a backup. It will also have a revival system which will use an orbman to generate healing energy to heal or revive its operator in times of danger. That sounds handy, I wish you had it at the moment. The armor plating will be made using Kurdelugan alloy. Kurdelugan is the most fitting material to use given that it is the most capable we have access to in all regards. The data re regarding strength, see files on Gospel Plan. Gospel Plan. Current progress. New engines. Development is proceeding smoothly, in line with the plans drawn up by Professor Novartis. Tests have also confirmed that they are already capable of providing power to the actuators. However, the professor has raised concerns about the low responsiveness of the flight engine. This is especially true for the anti-gravity generator. He concluded the, uh, that the engine as it stands cannot be put into actual use. The possibility of using boosters to provide additional propulsion is under consideration. Development of the actuators is experiencing significant difficulty as it isn't possible to simply use the same ones as other archaisms. The increased size of the main weaponry means the archaisms weight during combat is significant and as a result problems have been occurring in durability tests, especially with the leg joints. It may be possible to make improvements in this area by using precise control so the weight burden is spread evenly rather than focused on one point. Main Armaments the herbal energy cannons that will serve as its primary armaments have been successfully tested. However, by order of Professor Novartis, the possibility of them becoming twin mounts has been analyzed, so they have yet to be equipped. equipped. The new orbital engine engines are expected to be able to provide enough energy to compensate for the necessary increase in output. Control System Experiments regarding the control system are currently ongoing, but the results of the experiments that have been carried out so far see a separate entry. Oh, for the results of the blah blah blah. Experiment results! Ooh! Ooh, look at this picture, it's very Zenigiz! Ooh, I like this! Whoa! Oh. Tests of the control system continue to be performed. However, none of the test subjects have been able to realize the expected level of precision we are aiming for. The results of the main test conducted by Professor Novartis and his team can be viewed above. Test subject. Subject AI. I mean A1. Abnormality during phase 2. Comatose. Test subject. Subject B3. Abnormality during phase 3. Cardiac arrest. Oh my god, they're like killing all these people! It's terrible! Test subject. Subject C1. Abnormality during phase 1. Insanity! Test subject, subject D7, abnormality during phase 2, comatose. Test subject, subject E3, abnormality during phase 2, cardiac. This is horrible! Test subject, subject F2, abnormality during phase 2, comatose. Test subject, subject G4, abnormality during phase 3, comatose. Test subject, subject H1, abnormality during phase 2, comatose. Sub uh, test subject, subject I6. Abnormality during phase 4. Mental breakdown! As can be seen, all of the test subjects failed to adapt to the control system. Nonetheless, the society continues to supply test subjects and we intend to keep performing further experiments. <laughs> that is so terrible! Future development. We have received word from the society that development is to be temporarily frozen. Their reasoning is that the stability of the control system is in question. From now on, only test subjects carefully chosen by the society will be taking part in connection tests. Interesting. And horrific. Oh, hello. Test subject. Subject R3. Successfully completed all four testing phases. Note, the subject did experience a small degree of flashbacks. Okay. Test subject. Subject R3. Succeeded in communicating with Paydermater. Ascertaining the society's intentions in regards to resuming development. Subject R3 has succeeded in operating Paydermater. Ascertaining the society's intentions in regards to con resuming development. Oh. Okay. That was rude. Was it supposed to say that again? 
Goldius class experiment report finished. Mmm, that was interesting. Ooh, received 10,000 meter. Nice. Huh. The first part of that was kind of like, okay, specifications, don't really care that much. Okay, interesting, sort of a little bit. And then at, at, at the end, boom! Jesus, okay. That's very much trails, it seems. It's like the first game was very kind of like, okay, we're doing things, blah, blah, things are happening. I mean, like, it wasn't boring, but it was kind of like, okay, we're doing things, yay, things are happening, la, la, la. And then all of a sudden at the end, like, okay. Second chapter was... Mm, not as much like that. There was, I mean, the ending was, but not as much as this chapter. Anyway, um, oh, have I looked at his thing? Oh, I guess I have. Okay, that was good. That was good. That was good. Let's go back. I can mark that off. What was that? Oh, what's happening? Welcome back, everyone. What? <sighs> what's happening? You okay, then? If you're feeling tired, why don't you rest here in the garden for a bit? All the others are here, you wouldn't be alone. I'm not tired at all. I just got something on my mind. Something on your mind? Like what? Hmm. Well, I suppose it can't hurt. Let me give it a try. I should have done this before! Oh, Is she gonna, like, be able to summon Patermater now? <laughs> this could have been so useful. Um. Peter Mater. Or maybe he'll just sit here. He'll just exist here. Hello. Imagine him following us around. Haha, <laughs> I knew you'd come. Peter Mater, switch to standby mode. Right, that's that. Rin learnt the Patermater S-Craft. Mm, oh, that would have been very useful. Set Patermater as Rin's s -break. Yes, please. Oh, that's cool. The Rin? What? <laughs> and why do you all look so surprised? This world can be directly influenced by people's thoughts. We've established that much already. So why wouldn't Patermater come for me? Why wouldn't Patermater come for me? ba, -ba. Well, that was funny. Uh huh. That was good. Uh, we could go do the battle one, I guess. Do, 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 do. Let's go do the battle while we have people equipped with things in the party. Um, the battle one. Let's go find it. Is it this one? I think it's this one. Eleven. Bum bum. Except something smells horrendous. So let's go sort that out. Alrighty, let's try this one. Those who seek to enter this door must first overcome a trial. Should this fail to deter you, open the door and step inside. Dun, 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 dun. Maybe I should do the doors as I come across them. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Star Chamber. Star Chamber. I guess the doors would probably be an indication of who I should have in my party at the time. Hmm. Overcome the trial before you, then I shall grant you a memory fragment and my blessing. Oh, hello, that's a lot of things. What do we have here? It's another Star Guardian. Mirror Vanguard, an archaism made by 13 factories, reflects arts who on it. Oh, shit. Well, that's a bad time. Oh, he doesn't have any seep. Yeah. Alright, let's go attack this thing. Oh, 
Okay, they're gonna die quickly. Excellent! Um, uh, this one, I guess. Oh, I didn't realize he he unleashed a wheel because before it was really close to him, so I thought he became that wheel. That's funny. Wow, that that thing that's moving a lot in the middle right now. Its little picture on the left is horrifying. Oh, we can't do arts then. Um, I'll wait till her CP gets up. Actually. What? Oh my god, this theme. Or this motif, or whatever. I had a feeling that might happen. Bryn, I want to see your pay tomato, please. Here, eat this. Whoa! Oh, that's a cool looking attack thing. Whoa, that's crazy. Oh, and we had the critical. A oh, potomater, not pay to mater. Okay, Whoa, holy shit. What did she say? It's warm. Holy shit, that was amazing. Hello. Oh. Why did I do that? Oh my god. Oh, thank you. Oh, did it heal itself as well? Okay, um, let's do that. No, I shouldn't have done that. Why did I do that? Ugh. Oh my god. Got me a thing. What are you doing? So, okay. Oh no, it didn't heal itself. Never mind. I guess we just hadn't hit it yet. That's fine. Mm. Oh my god! Stop being blind. I meant to do Cyclone Nepama. Oh! Oh, that's what happens to it, its health gets low. <laughs> Silk? What the hell was that? 
You have overcome the trial. Thus I shall grant you a memory fragment of my blessing. I want to see what that thing was that we got. But sure. I should have brought Olivia. Although I don't know if that would make a difference. An investigative report on Phantom Thief B, his crimes, his history, and his true identity. Imperial Chronicle Investigate Team. Investigative Team. Was that supposed to rhyme? Because it did. Dun, dun, dun. Da, da, da. People of uncertain true colors. Phantom Thief B has had quite the lengthy and productive career in thievery in the Empire, as the amount of records we've been able to find on his crimes proves beyond a doubt. From numerous paintings held in the Imperial Art Gallery, to a septium crystal held in the Empire's Customs Warehouse, to even a cutting-edge tank held in an Imperial Army Research Facility, nothing is truly safe when he desires to steal it. He has been guilty of, pe uh, of. Sorry, I was staring at the scissors because they look wrong somehow. I think it's because they're like facing downwards. His conquests aren't limited to inanimate objects. He has been guilty of pretending to be a military officer and eloping with the wife of a Marquis Marquis on one reported occasion. Yet, yet, and this is perhaps the most baffling part, there is no con concrete evidence, concrete evidence to suggest he has profited profited from his exploits. Rather, the objects stolen usually end up in places so bizarre their owners are liable to faint upon hearing upon them. In other cases, they are transformed into Mira, which is then rained down from the sky in areas largely inhabited by those less fortunate. Hearing this, one might be led to think him a vigilante thief who takes from the rich and giving to the poor, gives to the poor. But make no mistake, the truth is not so simple. The wife of the Mark. Oh, fuck, how do you say this word? <sighs> Marquis. Mm -hmm. It is Marquis. Oh, it's Marquis in French. It's a nobleman of high hereditary rank in various European peerages and in those of some of their former colonies. The term is also used to translate equivalent Asian stars as in Imperial China and Imperial Japan. So, Marquis, or Marquis, if you want to be French, I guess. Well, actually, it should be Marquis because Marquess is Marquess, like M A R Q U E S S. But this is M A R Q A S. So it's written like French, therefore it probably should be pronounced like French. I'm guessing. Da da, which is probably exactly why I was having a problem with it. Da da. In American, you say Marquis. That's so weird. Oh, or you can say Marquis or Marquis. And in in Britain in the UK it's Marquis. Marquis. Okay. Butter, what are you doing? The wife of the Marquis discussed earlier is a fine example of that. As of this writing, it has been a little over half a year since the elopement took place. Since then she has remained unaccounted for. Many of the items stolen by him may return to the public eye in some fashion, but not all. Between his eccentric techniques and bizarre behavior regarding the objects he steals, it might appear as though his thefts are purely whims and nothing else. Upon studying the overall picture and reviewing the, the objects, and indeed people, in play, you begin to see that they all have one specific thing in common. Take the artwork stolen from the Imperial Art Gallery, for example. Each of them were works of pure genius painted by a master of their craft. 
but they gained a reputation for being too complex for the target audience of such works, the nobility, and were shamefully stored away instead of placed on display. Similar could be said of the Septium Crystal, known for its unparalleled beauty after being seized by customs it was sealed away in the warehouse and doomed never to be admired by human eyes again. The tank, again, is one more example, with its promising development cut short. Rather than be put to good use, it was left collecting dust. As an aside, the case of the Marquis's wife does contain some striking similarities. Despite marrying her, he devoted most of his attention to his concubines and barely spared a thought for her. Rude. In conclusion, we can see now that the underlying motive for his actions is finding objects of beauty that have been abandoned by the world and freeing them from their foolish owners. Oh, she was... Oh, I thought Blood Blanc had concubines. <laughs> okay, that makes more sense. No matter how the world may see his crimes, his motive is clear. The truth of that is evident in the cards he leaves before committing his crimes. This is the so-called liberation of beauty mentioned upon each of them. Phantom Thief B steals not for money, but for an ideal he believes in. And it is in this fact, we believe. And it... And, and it is in this fact, we believe clues to be his true identity. I think. And it is in this fact are clues. That doesn't make sense. But okay. Who is Phantom Thief B? It looks like Lurits. A number of valid theories have come about on the face be behind our name, our famed thief. Unfortunately, they are all as lacking in conclusive proof as they are numerous, and so it is impossible to say whether any of them are actually correct. To complicate matters further, we now even have deranged individuals coming forward pretending to be him and allowing themselves to be captured by law enforcement. That is not to say, however, that none of the theories circulating are at all plausible. Here, we will introduce three such theories, which have developed significant followings and may not turn out to be too far from the truth. Theory 1. Amorous Con Artist X X's personal history. X is known for his exceptional skill as a con artist, having faked his own identity in order to engage in romantic relationships with many noble women. He was as handsome as he was capable, and he was exceptionally proud in nature as well. Born to a poor family in the temperate south, he became used to stealing in order to make ends meet from a young age. According to testimony from a companion of his at the time, he was never once caught for such thefts. The reason X converted from being a common thief to a con artist is believed to have stemmed from falling in love with a noble woman of much higher social standing than he. The rule of the aristocracy was absolute in the country he called home, and blessed romances between those of different classes unthinkable. Blessed them. With that in mind, he resolved to create a false identity in order to make his dream possible. Following his first rousing success, he came to do the same on a myriad of other occasions, indulging in one forbidden affair after another. It was a mere ten years ago that he was arrested on suspicion of identity fraud, but he performed a miraculous escape from prison. Ever since then, his whereabouts have remained unknown. Thoughts. Both X's perilous skills as a thief and his interest in forbidden romances with noble women sound remarkably like what we know of Phantom Thief B. Also worth noting is that despite using his abilities of deception to court those of vast wealth, he displayed virtually no interest in their fortunes. That is to say, he gained no financial benefit from his actions whatsoever. Instead, he simply lamented that he was unable to indulge in them because of something as trivial as his social class. We conclude that this attitude bears a striking resemblance to the thief's own views of beauty. Theory 2. Tragic Artist Y Y's personal history. Y was an artist with a rather tra tragic past. Born to a middle-class family in the north, he was hired by an influential aristocrat to be their personal artist, producing many a stunning piece of work. However, it was later discovered that was, that wasn't all he produced. On the contrary, he was also responsible for a number of counterfeit pieces. The one who hired him sought to profit through ill means thanks to his work, and so he created such counterfeits under the noble's instructions. One day, however, Y suddenly left the noble's service. The reason remains unknown. This is where his tragedy begins. 
Immediately after leaving his client behind, Y received a terrible piece of news. His lover, the daughter of a respected family, had been killed in a traffic accident. While there was... While there is no evidence to prove as much, it is rumoured that the noble may have had a hand in her death. Why was only spotted once more at his lover's grave before forever disappearing from the public eye. To those who knew his story, he became known as the truly tragic artist. That is so sad! Well, of course it is, it's a tragedy, but you know. <laughs> Several years later, the noble was murdered. Thoughts? The story of Y still has several unsolved mysteries surrounding it and, and has invited much speculation, both of which have likely led to the theory that he and Phantom Thief B are one and the same. Those aren't the only reasons, naturally. Phantom Thief B has been known, at times, to try and dispose of counterfeits, believing them to be false beauty. This, had le this has led some to believe that Phantom Thief B may be attempting to rid the world of counterfeits that he himself created. Leading further credibility to this is the discovery that the forgeries disposed of by, by Phantom Thief B were indeed the works of Y. Theory 3. Skilled model martial artist Z. Z's personal history. The story of Z is significantly different from the other two potential identities we have proposed here, making this an unusual but still plausible possibility. Z was born in the Far East as the son of a famed military family. He was an attractive, delicately built young man, but he was far more skilled at martial arts than his frame would have suggested, being blessed with great natural talent. He's also said to possess a keen, sharp mind, and there was a mild air of arrogance about him too. Why not? Z was indeed blessed in nearly every way. He came from an important family, he had skill, he had looks, and as a result, he came to feel bored with the world around him. He barely kept such thoughts to himself. In fact, he often voiced his complaints to anyone with an earshot. These complaints persisted until one day. He simply disappeared. Oh, these complaints comp con huh. These complaints persisted until one day he simply disappeared, telling no one where he was going and leaving nothing to suggest his next destination. Thoughts. Much of this theory is based on the idea I've the idea of geniuses being eccentric by nature. There are some who say that the fighting style of Z has some resemblance to the peculiar skills used by Phantom Thief B, but in terms of credibility, this theory is barely a cut above many other similarly unusual suggestions. Still, the idea that the man beneath the mask is one from the, from the East is certainly an interesting and exciting one, leading many to wish it were true, even if they find themselves doubting it actually is. That brings us to the end of outlining three very different theories. Could X, Y, or Z be the true identity of our fam famed th phantom thief? Or is the truth perhaps something else entirely? The only way we will know for sure is to hear the truth from the man himself. Of course, whether we can trust anything he says is a discussion for another time. Postscript. After this article was first published, we received a card believed to be from phantom thief B himself at our office. The contents of the card are as follows. The truth of my identity is already within your grasp. My number reveals all. Judging by this, it is believed that one of the three theories proposed is the true identity of Phantom Thief B. That said, uncovering the meaning behind his words has proven to be a trying task. My number reveals all. Will one valued reader be able to step forward and solve what we cannot? Only time will tell. His number. Did he have a number in Ouroboros? Is he part of Ouroboros? I don't remember. Phantom Thief B. I mean, it's B, but X, Y, and Z, none of those are B. Are they not a... Interesting. Receive Phantom Thief's cape. Oh, okay. Ooh, and some money. Yay. Interesting. What do you think, Naru? Who's the Phantom Thief? Is it you? Could not be you. You say the game. What is this thing that we got? Ba -ba 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 -da -ba. Agility, movement, drop right up. Oh. <gasps> Loblanc's cape increases odds of fo foes dropping items. Although, I don't really... I don't really use their items, do we, Nano? 
Um, what was I going to do? There was something else that we got that I was going to look at. Oh, it was like some kind of paper or something. I don't know what that was. Let's see. Oh, it's this. Schwarz silk plus two. Garment made with septium radiates distorted light. Oh, increase art. Oh, it's only for women. Increases arts, though. I don't know why I'm putting on her right now. Ooh. Oh, cool. That's interesting. Mmm. All right. Well, I'm going to stop this episode here. I need to go have something to eat or I'm going to die. And I'll see you next time on the Space Trials and Sky Third Blind. Bye-bye.